Welcome to Chila Gear Propaganda Films. Shot here in the Chila Gear factory where we bar tack like maniacs. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is Kyle Dempster, and he's going to tell us a little bit, if he so chooses, about his pack choice on his recent climb of Mount Edgar and Mount Grosvenor. All right, yeah. Uh, so, a lot of people are pretty blown away when I tell them uh, that this 30 liter is the pack that I used on our eight day ascent uh, of Mount Edgar. Um, yeah, I put eight days of stuff in this tiny little pack and and then also put to my harness as well, sort of in the Gypsy Joe Perrier style. Um, but yeah, pretty committing route. We had a, a two days, three days of approaching time. Um, the mountain didn't really necessitate setting up a base camp below the thing, um, which we'd learned from some past attempts on Edgar. So Bruce and I just decided to pack up in the nearest town, uh, pack our bags and put our harnesses on and, and just go for it. And uh, from the point we started hiking on the road, we had 17,000 feet of terrain above us. Um, That's almost like Pacific Northwest style. Almost, yeah. But it was, it was also raining on those approaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very north, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, um, I don't have exactly what I put in there, but we are hanging out at Chilo and uh, we have pretty outdoorsy people here. So, got some stuff we borrowed. Um, yeah, I did have a reactor stove with us. Um, some American uh, get up and go fuel. Um, you I also like to, I took a few pro bars, a few goos, um, but then I like to check out like the local food as well, you know, shopping local. So had some uh, spicy duck gizzard that I bought in Sichuan, China. Um, rolled with that and then had some like... Uh, International like, climbing fuel of champions. Yeah, and some like uh, yak jerky and yeah, just like random stuff that you can find you know, in the supermarkets and whatnot there. And maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. You can find Snickers in any country on earth. So of course, power down a few of those. And um, I like to eat junk food and uh, goo's not really junk food. So. How much of the pack's content was food? Uh, well, we brought six days of food and ended up taking eight, so... Um, like half of the pack's volume? Yeah, probably a third, a third and a half. Yeah, um, took a lot of oatmeal. I like to roll with that because it gets me pretty full in the morning and I can pretend like I'm uh, yeah, doing pretty well with that. So. Um, noodles, instant noodles for dinner, and then, yeah, like I said, just jerkies and oats and candy, junk food. Um, crowbar, and then I like to throw my sleeping bag in the pack. This is not the sleeping bag I took. I took a Thank plus. God, I'd be dying yeah, look from at this the smell. Huge! <laughs> um, no I travel floor. pretty light no uh, with, and took a plus 30 degree bag. Stays right at about a pound, um, and just shove it in the bottom there. And I also had a small Vade um, blow up half length, uh, half length Thermarest pad, um, and that was pretty much it. You know, when I was moving around, uh, especially in the warmer weather, I'd put my uh, OR Virtuoso coat in there, um, which packs pretty light as well. And, <laughs> How about that? So yeah. Uh, that was it. No gear. Um, gear was attached to the harness. Um, had a rope, you know, as well. Obviously on the approach, um, Bruce was carrying one. I was carrying one, and that just sat over the cinched pack, and then was clipped on underneath the lid of the pack, and uh, that worked pretty well. And then had a camera, some more food. Um, sunscreen, chapstick. What about your hair care products? My hair care, well, I don't have a whole lot of hair to take care of, so um, yeah, I just mostly did that with like uh, dirt and water, glacial runoff water. Yeah, so that worked pretty well. <laughs> cool. Um, did it take a lot, a long time to get to the point where you were comfortable climbing such sure. a committing route with only a pack that size? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's just been this slow process of like, uh, realizing what I can get away with, um, you know, like discarding certain items from your pack. And I think that's something that you just learn through 
years of climbing and stay tuned for the next Chilo Gear video installment for uh, Chilo Gear propaganda films. But one quick question. Sure. Is there anything you take like, I know Kelly Cortez takes a little bit of toothpaste with him for some strange reason. Is there anything you take like that on your big climbs? Uh, certainly toothpaste. Yeah, you gotta be clean there. But uh, it's nice to keep the teeth clean. Um, no. I take probably extra toilet paper. <laughs> extra toilet paper. Well, you heard it from here. Then, Chilo Gear Propaganda <laughs> Films. Bring extra toilet paper. <laughs> That spicy duck gizzard can kind of get to you sometimes. Thanks a lot, Kyle. <laughs> Thank you.